prunes tend to be a fruit people try to avoid because they have high sugar content, but they have many other good qualities as well. They have lots of antioxidants and are full of nutrients, fiber, and vitamins that are essential for the body. In this video, we will be discussing whether prunes are good for type 2 diabetes or not. You'll also find out how they can help lose weight, lower blood pressure, and improve digestion. So if you have diabetes or are looking for a way to manage your weight, then check out this video. Prunes are dried plums. The usual prune is a small to medium-sized, oval fruit with wrinkled skin ranging from yellow to dark purple. Dried plums have been around for thousands of years and date back to the Roman Empire. They have been used to treat constipation for many centuries. Dried fruit is relatively high in calories and sugar. Sugars in fruits become much more concentrated during the drying process. Most dried fruit is also high on the glycemic index scale. Prunes are a great alternative for those looking to maintain blood sugar levels or even lose weight. They contain no added sugars and are lower on the glycemic index scale than most dried fruit. Nutritional Value of Prunes Prunes are a great source of fiber. They are rich in antioxidants, fiber, vitamins, and minerals like potassium. A 1 ounce, 28 gram, serving of prunes contains the following. glycemic index of prunes. The glycemic index of a food is a good way to measure the impact the carbohydrates in a food will have on your blood sugar levels. This measurement determines how quickly your body will absorb a particular food. High numbers, usually 70 and above, mean that the food will be absorbed quickly and can easily raise your blood sugar levels. One serving of prunes, about 60 grams or six prunes, has a glycemic index of 29, low GI, Remember that this is for unprocessed, unsweetened, and dried prunes, the GI will be different depending on the preparation. Many commercially available prune products are artificially sweetened, flavored, and processed to make them sweeter, thereby significantly increasing their glycemic index. Are prunes high in sugar? Prunes have a high sugar content, which allows them to be dried without fermenting. They have a higher natural sugar content than most fruits and vegetables, but they also have a lower glycemic index, meaning they don't spike your blood sugar levels. That means you can enjoy prunes once in a while, but without fear of blood sugar spikes. Don't worry about prunes being high in sugar. Prunes contain natural sugar substances, including sorbitol and fructose. They have a gentle effect on people with diabetes as they can help to reduce the sharp increase in blood sugar. Prunes also contain lots of essential nutrients and minerals that come packaged in the fruit's natural sweetness. Do prunes raise blood sugar? Many people are often asked whether or not prunes can raise blood sugar. This is a myth that has been proven wrong time and time again. Prunes are packed with fiber which helps balance blood sugar levels. Prunes are a food that has a lower glycemic index, meaning it causes a minor impact on blood sugar levels. Are prunes good for type 2 diabetes? Prunes are a type of fruit that has health benefits for diabetes, both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. They are rich in fiber, which can slow down the release of sugar into your bloodstream. The fiber in prunes can slow the rate at which your body absorbs carbs after a meal, which causes blood sugar to rise gradually. Furthermore, studies have shown that eating fruits like plums and prunes is associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. The American Diabetes Association ADA, has stated that dried fruit can be considered a healthy alternative for diabetes. Still, it is essential to be aware of the quantity one is consuming. Prunes can be a great way to control your diabetes. Here are some of their most notable health benefits. 1. Prevent blood sugar spikes. One of the things that make prunes so great is their high fiber content. When you eat prunes with carbs, the fiber slows down how quickly your body absorbs them, which means that blood sugars will rise more gradually and be less likely to spike. 2. Prevent developing type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is when your body's cells cannot properly use blood sugar. Insulin sensitivity helps cells use blood glucose more effectively, allowing the body to control blood sugar levels more efficiently. 
The soluble fiber in prunes can help improve insulin sensitivity, reduce blood sugar levels, and prevent developing type 2 diabetes. 3. Support Weight Loss Prunes contain various nutrients that can help with weight loss and may even be beneficial for those who have diabetes. Not only do they have a low calorie count, but they also contain fiber that can keep you feeling full for a longer period of time. 4. Lower Blood Pressure Prunes are a healthy and natural way to add fiber to your diet. Research has shown that eating prunes or drinking prune juice can have a significant impact on blood pressure. For example, a 2010 study found that giving prunes to groups of people led to lower blood pressure and better control among people who had type 2 diabetes. 5. Reduce cholesterol levels. Fat and cholesterol often collect in your arteries to form plaque. When plaque builds up in the arteries, it can lead to atherosclerosis, narrowing the arteries. If left untreated, this condition can cause heart failure or a stroke. Research suggests that dried prunes may help slow the development of atherosclerosis and reduce its risks. 6. Prevent constipation. Prunes are a common home remedy for constipation. They contain pectin, a type of soluble fiber that acts as a stool softener. As the pectin is mixed with water in the digestive tract, it becomes a gel substance and softens stools, making them easier to pass. 7. Reduce bone loss. Not only are prunes high in vitamin K, but also phenolic compounds that act as antioxidants. A recent study found that these antioxidants can help prevent osteoporosis and bone fractures. How many prunes should I eat per day? In general, it is recommended to eat between 5 and 10 whole prunes per day. This will give you the benefits of the fiber they contain as well as their potential health benefits. In addition, if you are looking for a snack to eat, Make sure it is a healthy one as this will give you all of the nutrients that your body needs. However, doctors might recommend that you vary this amount based on whether or not you have a chronic condition such as high blood pressure or diabetes. Risks of eating prunes Some people may experience adverse effects when consuming prunes. The main negative effect is digestive discomfort, including gas, bloating, constipation, or diarrhea. This is because its fiber content and laxative effects can cause digestive issues. To avoid this, you should increase your intake gradually to give your body time to adjust. Now you know all about prunes and diabetes. To maximize the benefits of these superfoods, make sure you include them in your diet. Remember to consume them in moderation as excessive consumption can have side effects like diarrhea and bloating. Moderation and balance are the keys to good health. Thank you for watching, and we would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.